there, everybody. Welcome back to my home office, and uh, I am so excited today. Uh, my family's coming home, and I cannot wait for that to happen. And some of you who live in Scotts Valley, maybe you are already home or making your way home today. And uh, man, what great news. Um, for those of you in Felton, Ben Lomond, Boulder Creek, Brookdale, um, we continue to wait and pray with you. Um, that you will soon be able to be in your home. And then for those of you who have unfortunately lost your home, our hearts, our hearts grieve with you and for you. And I want to reiterate that uh, your community, your church family loves you and is there for you. And I want to share just briefly something that uh, I was reminded of yesterday. Um, and maybe you're struggling too, just not being home, being out of, uh, out of sorts emotionally, uh, the waiting, uh, out of routine. Um, and I had completely um, gotten out of habit over the last seven, eight, nine days of doing something that I've been doing almost every day since December. And that is that after I spend some time in the scriptures and praying, I actually write down three things that I am thankful for. And man, I was in a funk yesterday. And maybe you have experienced that where you just, man, out of sorts. You're, you're not in your routine. You're not in your normal um, place. You're not in your own bed. And, and you have just gotten out of sorts and you have gotten into a funk. And so, um, I got right back into it yesterday, I did it again today, and I want to encourage you, uh, no matter what you're facing right now, whether uh, you have lost your home and most of your worldly possessions, or maybe you didn't lose your home and you're actually feeling survivor's guilt or you feel bad because you know uh, and have friends or loved ones who have lost their home. I want to share some scriptures with you about being thankful. And the scriptures are clear that we give thanks in all situations. There is a power. There is something that happens internally with the disposition of our heart when we choose to be thankful no matter what our circumstances are. Uh, let me read some of these scriptures to you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Psalm 107, 1. In fact, you can find many, many psalms uh, about thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Hold on to that truth today. Ephesians 5, verse 20. Give thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 3, 15 and 16, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Philippians 4, verse 6, and we've spent some time in this passage uh, some time ago. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And then finally, Colossians 3.17, Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. And so, if I can encourage you with anything in this waiting time, in this in-between time, in this upheaval of your life, Develop a new habit. If this has not been part of your daily routine, develop a new habit. Just like you brush your teeth, just like you shower, or whatever your normal routines are. Every time you, you get your coffee, sit still for a few minutes. Grab the scriptures, read a psalm, read a proverb, and then come up with at least three things that you are grateful for. There is a power that will take place in your heart 
and mind. And so God bless you today. Can't wait to see you soon. And may the peace of God that passes all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you.